Hi everyone, welcome back. This is our next tutorial on AppLab and we're just going to be looking at text and the various different ways you can insert text and edit text on the screen for your app. So as you can see we're in design mode here, we're looking at uh, the toolbox and we've got three distinctly different options for text. We've got the text input, we've got the label which has the ABC written across the top, and we've also got text area down here on the right hand side. Now the differences are the text input is used to take an entry from a user. So let's say for example you wanted them to complete a form, you would use the text input as the input box for them to fill in their details. The label is probably the most common used text item. It's used for titles and single words. Um, also ideal if you want to put labels next to pictures. And then lastly, you've got the text area. Now this, as, it's, as it describes, is a larger area for writing paragraphs of text. So let's have a look at a couple of these examples and how we can modify the properties. So we're going to insert and drag a label onto our canvas here for the screen. As you can see, it's got a default um, name and text entry, which just says text. You can see the little arrow in the corner. You can drag that out a little bit bigger so it covers more space. And then on the right hand side we've got the properties. We can select the text box there, change that to your uh, title. And then right beneath it we've got a few common um, settings that you can alter such as the height, width of the text box, the position of the box, and as you get further down, you've got text color, which you can type in a hexadecimal code. Alternatively, you can click on that little pick a color picker and select the color that you'd like to choose. So let's change that to a nice blue color. You've also got an option for the background color. Now I tend not to add background colors to this. However, if you have got a, um, a screen which has an image in the background and you want a nice block, you can change these parameters. Again, these are RGBA parameters, so it changes the colors depending on the variables you enter. Font family is always a good one. Think about your type of font that you're going to use and what impression you want to make and how it fits in with the style of the rest of your work. There's not that great a selection, but there are a few that you can pick from. Okay, and then don't forget to amend the size so that it fits nice and neatly onto your app. So that's a nice little introduction to using the label option. Next is the text area. So we're going to again drag that onto the canvas. If you notice, I'm trying to position it in a kind of central place and line it up with my previous text. It's always important to have good layouts on your app. Now you notice here the text area, the text box is slightly larger. If you want to type in paragraphs of text, you can drag that a bit more so that you can write freely. So let's write a little paragraph in there. So there you go, I've just typed in a little paragraph of text there describing what the purpose is of my app. And then again, you've got the XY and the height um, position properties followed by the text color. Now I'm going to leave that one on gray. Notice here the background color, you can select a different background color for this particular um, tool. Uh, and I'm going to again leave that gray. Font family is there again to keep it consistent. And then font size if you think that it needs to be a little bit larger. Notice that if you make it too large and it's larger than the box, you do end up getting a scroll bar there. So users will have to scroll through that text. Okay, so let's run that and see what it looks like. Okay, so one of the issues we had was the scroll bar, so we just want to make sure if you do see that scroll bar that you enlarge in the text box so that users don't have to worry about that scroll option. You can also change the alignment of text here, so if you want to centralize it. And you can add a little border if you'd like to emphasize that box. 
and choose a specific color for the border if you'd like. Let's go back to the blue color. And there you have it. Those are the two different types of text options that you're most likely to use. The title is used uh, is using the label and then the text area here for writing paragraphs. Hope you found that tutorial useful. Uh, look out for more tutorials on App Lab and play around with the settings there. Uh, the best way to, to get the best out of this tool is to try it out and practice with it. Okay, thanks very much for listening, guys. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.